Hi, my name is Michael Shore, and I'm a science teacher in New York City. We're here today to unbox the new Little Bit Steam student set. So let's have a look inside. First thing I see is the student invention guide. We're going to come back to this a little later. The first tray is a collection of all sorts of bits. Simply by knowing what each different color can do, you can very quickly and easily build very sophisticated electronic circuits. All right, so here's an example of a quick circuit that you can build with little bits. And this shows just how easy they are to use. So the blue bits are power bits. Then the green bits are output bits. These do something. Now a pink bit, these are called input bits. And that means that the power just goes directly from the power to the input to the output. And so now, by turning on the bit and pressing the button, I've got a doorbell. So let's have a look. This is a power bit, USB power, button, slide dimmer, light sensor, temperature sensor, pulse, inverter, wire, fork, buzzer, RGB LED, long LED, number, servo and hub, DC motor, and this is a fan. This is the student invention guide, and it allows the students to teach themselves how to use little bits. The first thing that you see in the book is an explanation of how little bits work. Then, each of the little bits is explained in depth. And one of the things that I love about this is that it gives you real world examples of how each of the bits relates to actual products. For example, the pulse bit, it's like a police siren or fireflies. So there are two types of challenges that the invention guide provides. For example, there are guided challenges like the invent an art machine challenge. And then there are open challenges. Open challenges invite the students to take a problem from the real world that's important to them and try to solve it. And this allows the learning to become very authentic and very engaging. In addition to this, there's also a teacher's guide which is available online as a PDF. It's got 100 pages of resources, projects, suggestions, strategies for teachers to make this whole process go much more easily and more effectively. Both of these guides are available free online, so you can have a look at them and see if they help. I know that I've gone to LittleBit's website a lot to get ideas, strategies, and even language to describe what I'm doing. Okay, so that's the STEAM student set. And I just wanted to say again that little bits make it so easy to bring STEAM into the classroom, not only in science and math, but also in English and social studies. There are so many resources for teachers to make this process easy and effective. And not only is little bits sharing this information with you, but they're also making it easy for teachers to share their lesson ideas with each other. I find that having examples of how other teachers are actually doing it is super helpful. And the bottom line is, the kids love little bits. They are so engaged and so excited. They can't believe that they're making such cool things. So thanks, hope you enjoy it.